What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World. In the last part we made it all the way to World 3. This part, we're gonna do the very first of World 3. Now, uh, this is Snowball Park and now we're gonna get a new power-up introduced anyway. So, um, yeah, so, um, ladies and gentlemen, actually we're not gonna see it just yet. The, the new snowman. I, I love this music by the way also. It's also in Super Mario 3D Land, but for some reason, like, I like this rendition more. Now, there's also the, uh, there's also this, uh, helicopter propeller also in fun. But these enemies are here, if we time the jump just right, we can also position ourselves better. Yeah, we can also get some one-ups that way. Now, this is around the point where we should be getting a power-up. And it's not just any power-up, it is, um, an iconic power-up that also appeared in Super Mario 3D Land. Tiki suit! Now, Peach is especially broken using the Tanuki suit, because she can both hover and, um... She can both hover and, uh, float, so yeah. The Tanuki suit does reappear in Super Mario 3D World, much like how it pretty much reappeared in Super Mario 3D Land. It was basically the main power-up of Super Mario 3D Land. Now, we gotta catch this bunny. There's a little bit of a concern because Peach is the slowest runner. Except we got the... we got the star. Now we're gonna... see if we can hover and get that stamp. Alright, that's good, and, um... Let's try to get that star. There we go. We're out of this level. Now, if you actually make it to the flagpole with one of these, um... What am I trying to say? If you make it to the flagpole with one of these, um, with one of these, uh, propeller things, you get a one-up. And we can just top, we can just top the flagpole and kind of position ourselves in. We top the flagpole. And that is another stamp for our collection, and, um, what are we going to do next? We're going to do 3-2. Anyway, so there's another, as you can see in the background, there's another Captain Toad stage. The stage is getting blocked off, so, um, let's just say... The stage is getting blocked off, so that's three through. So we're gonna do the stage is getting blocked off first. You need 30 uh, green stars in order to access these levels, this level. And this is three two chain link charge. We're gonna stick with Peach. I want to keep Peach for a while because uh, there's gonna be a stage. She's gonna be the most helpful. And there's a cat suit, so um, yeah, we're cat Peach. I will say, I just, I'm, I'm gonna go, probably go on and on throughout this playthrough about how much I love the cat suit. I just think it's a solid idea that they used in the Mario movie, but they have not used in a Mario game since. Unless you count Bowser's Fury, which, uh, I'm not 100% sure if I count that as a main series Mario game. Shit. I, I did not see the enemy in the back. Yeah, that went to draw distance, and, uh, yeah. And that's our first death. That is our first death. It's nice that it takes to our World 3D to our first death. But it'll be the first of many deaths. You can... Some of the levels in this game, you can die pretty easily, and some of them I'll just die on purpose if I miss a, uh... Green Star Stamp. I almost died again right there! And so we gotta climb ourselves over that. Get the star also. Alright, claw you guys this time and um... We're going to these platforms clear, and, uh... Whoa, I died again! Alright, this will be the last attempt I'll show in the video. If, like, um, I take too long, I'll just cut out the remaining attempts. 
I don't really, like... It's not this particular stage I have trouble with. That's about, that's about it for how many coins we can get, so, um... Anyway, so this is the second recording section in this playthrough. I am, I am like, um, really appreciative of the enthusiastic response the first part has gotten. It's gotten, like, I'm recording this as that video came up, and it got, like, 100 views an hour. I'm, like, really thankful for that. that it's, it's common for a YouTube short, but not really as common for a long-form video, especially with a smaller channel like mine. Right, there we go. There we go. Now we have to stay here because um, there's going to be uh... And that was a nice save. Alright, thank god. Because there is going to be the flag after that. Make sure you have two stamp- you have two stars while going into that flag. You know, so avoid the walls because we're gonna end up climbing. Now, uh, climb up here to get the stamp. Now just, uh, go up that, uh, go up that white thing, just wait a little bit. Then claw this. And we almost didn't get it, so, um, so now we're, uh, now we're three stars and a, stars and a stamp, so we sh now we just have to atop the flagpole. I can't- I still can't believe I missed top of the flagpole at 1-2 of all stages. I'm just taking our time. Let the screen scroll. This is also an iron scroller, which is probably the number one thing I hate about Mario pla about Mario platformers and all that. Mario games, like, um, really 2D Mario, I think, has this problem, but, uh, this is, a really a game that combines 2D and 3D Mario, but, um... But we're regardless, we're at the end of the stage. Anyway, so now we're going to um, inspect uh, this uh, stamp house because we're going to need the stamp. We need all the stamps. We're not going to necessarily get all the stamps in the game because that's not really what comes to 100%. I will just like, I'll explain more as we get to the end why uh, we're not going to get every stamp in this game. Now we're gonna do three stories of the Shifty Boo Mansion. This is the first of the Boo Mansions in this game. Anyway, so uh, let's try and see if we can remember our way through that at this place. Now, uh, the, there's gonna be a hidden. There's gonna be a hidden. Um, yeah. Now there's a there's a fire flower. So um, I think I'm trying to remember where the first stamp is. I think it's around here somewhere. It's not. I'm wanna. I want. If I, I want my memory to be correct, that the uh, first stamp is around here, or else my memory's wrong. Oh yeah, this is it right here. And we have to play a little mini game. Uh, get the stamp, get the stamp, get the star, yes! Yeah, remember to go in there. There's gonna be a little thing right here. Float, let's just float up and that gets us the stamp. Alright, so... I think if I remember correctly, we need to get these uh, platforms to go... Maybe it'll, um, yeah, you want to go here. Because that gets us the second stamp. Not the second star, the second stamp, the second star. I can't fucking talk today. Anyway, so, um. 
Let's keep the caps here in our inventory, and I'll explain why in a bit. I mean, there's a, there'd be a one-up. I don't even know if that is a one-up. Sometimes they fool you in these levels, because, like, this... That's not a pipe. I don't think... I'm trying to remember what happens if you go up here. Okay, it's just time add-ons. It's just, you, you waste 10 seconds, basically adding 10 seconds. Plus, I don't think the level's truly over if you go in that door. Maybe it isn't. Yeah, this is just coins. You never want to miss some um, stars, even for me, you have to replay these levels. But I don't think the stage is truly over yet. Like that, that's not a one-up. There's gonna be a 100 seconds, so maybe grab that. Probably if we waste too much time trying to look for the stamps like I did in these practice playthroughs. Now, you need to get up on this uh, thing, this uh, bench, or you, this couch, or you can basically get up there and uh, get the final stamp, get the final star. I love how I keep saying stamp and not star. Now this time for real, it's the end of the level. And that's a fake flagpole. Nice little trick the game designers pulled off. But anyway, here we go. And there is a slot game, but it's later in the world, so we're going to take that later. This is the last thing, here's the last thing I want to do in this uh, part. We're going to tackle the Captain Toad level. Also, look what Captain Toad says right here. Time for adventure! This is kind of a water-oriented Captain Toad, much like the the last stage. This is essentially a puzzle stage, and remember, Captain Toad can't jump. You have to kind of move or uh, tilt the game, move the uh, R sticker, tilt the gamepad to control the camera. You kind of want to look from different angles. Um, I think we want to go. Um, that gets us the second star, and then we go up. Make sure to avoid that purple rubber thing, and, um, this is, uh, the Captain Toad stages aren't really too hard to figure out. And then we go down here. And there's the third star, but I want to let things down. Then we go down, then we go down the pipe. There's a star we can't reach, but we, there's a switch we're going to drop down on. It's gonna raise the water level, and um, yeah, again, be careful because um, it's also gonna raise the level of that uh, weird-looking fish. And can <laughs> treasure track is also more interesting. Is you have to do like certain tasks in or in addition to gain the stars for like uh, for like a hundred percent. So we're going to cut it off for this part of uh, Super Mario 3D World. So um, next time on Super Mario 3D World, we're going to do none of the tackle the remainder of World 3. See you guys then.